all right welcome to another edition of star one aquariums so today's topic is uh stn um the necrosis so i bought some acropora um my tank parameters were kind of off because the alkalinity was out the roof the dkh of it was 20. i actually tested with the hannah checker so you know i have a macro algae tank but i started incorporating some corals and this might happen to you because obviously this is a uh, SPS corals which don't need a lot of nutrients in the water but then you have macroalgae in the sump which require a lot more nitrite and phosphate to kind of survive not so much phosphate but nitrite correct and so you're trying to balance this out and so I had a lot of alkalinity going on so from other reefers they're like well just do a huge water change and so i bought uh, uh osmosis um from brs a four stage and then i changed out a lot of water and guess what happened a lot of macroalgae just deteriorated and fell apart and then it poisoned my water and the nitrite got to like at least 15 to 20 ppm and so it was too many changes because with acropora there's not supposed to be a lot of changes I, so i was stuck well should i do this big water change or should i like kind of let the alkalinity go so first everything turned brown as you can see and then certain things you know had a slow rate of uh just turning white and then one coral overnight my whole colony just turned white just overnight like seven eight hours and i was like wow and so some of the frags are still okay barely but most whited out are browned out and so some are still chipping i was thinking like wow is this a nudibranch or i don't see eggs i started looking i changed the lighting a couple of times because i was like maybe it's too bright maybe it's not and i and my lights do ramp so i'm thinking like ah, what's going on you know and this never happened to me i'm reading all this stuff and i'm new to a lot of sps and i have some lps also which are down here and they're doing okay but this the the change of water so as you can see in the back that's that turned white and this is brown from you know i guess debris whatnot so yet again i still have some things like some uh montipora that's still going in a couple of corals i had before that are not turning white and so i'm just thinking like i don't know what to do i'm just slowly seeing this stuff die so the thing is with um sps and acropora is stability and so i'm trying to my my, my calcium now is about at first it was like 360 and i boosted it up to at least 380 uh, 380 40 i have to check it today but as you i can see my rocks are also growing green coralline on there so that can get some of my alkalinity down but my mistake with alkalinity was baking soda because i was actually you know i looked at the ph and i was like okay my ph is low so let me do baking soda never do that because the alkalinity rises and it's off the charts ever since i had this tank in particular um my alkalinity has been out the roof do not dose calc either because it has alkalinity so i start only dosing um a lot of calcium and not alkalinity and then magnesium but not alkalinity and it's still high the only way to get it down is some type of acid which i'm not fully feeling about dosing meruric acid in the tank um you can do that i don't know there's forms on that but um gradually i'm just going to do small water changes and using um, reverse osmosis water and see what happens but now i don't really want to make drastic changes because if i change the water out again it can change a lot of things even my gorgorins and all that were angry like they're just skinny to the bone they weren't really even protruding out so now it's disaster in the tank and you're just like okay so never do that with a sps learn from my mistake because i wasted money um and damaged some things that made it actually receive back lost a couple of macros too it's starting to get back but with a with a sps tank and 
a dominant amount or a great amount of macro, you have to be very careful because most likely you can only have your nitrite at 5, P, 5 ppm and phosphate's about 0 0.2. And so even my phosphorus um, HANA checker is off the charts. I have a ULR ultra low reader and it's blinking like the highest amount. So I even had false guard, I had Kimmy Pure in there. I don't even know how my phosphates are still even high. On certain things, they're not even reading, but I don't know. I, just, I think it may be the tap water I used before or the RO, the RO buddy that wasn't really filtering the water. So I think a couple of months of that is built up and the alkalinity and the phosphorus is super high. So I will continue to do 10 to 20, no, actually 10% water changes. I don't want to change too much and um, see how it goes. So I'll give you guys an update on that soon enough. As you can see, a lot of things are just white and just dirty and some of the macros in this tank are not doing that well because there's not a lot of nutrients in this tank so i'm thinking about putting it in another tank and see this sponge well this kind of new so it's not really opening up yet so obviously uh it's not like this one over here in the corner and i'm just messing my whole tank around anyway so um yeah so yet again Thanks guys for watching. If you ever came into this experience of SPS and macroalgae and high alkalinity, write some comments on below. Let me know what you did to fix your tank. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe.